Hello everyone, this is a quick video for those of you who want to upgrade their uh, stock Ender 3 Pro magnet bed to something like this, a glass bed. Um, now there seems to be some confusion about how to actually do this and what the correct method is. Many people will say you get your glass bed and you simply put it on uh, the build surface and that's it. Um, that's exactly what I did but actually it's the wrong way to go about it. The reason being is, is that initially when you uh, remove this um, flexible um, build plate or bed, whatever you want to call it, um, you will be, um, you'll be looking at a dark black gray surface. That is the magnetic coating that Creality put onto the heated plate. Uh, to ensure that the the uh, build plate that we've got here sticks and doesn't move. You need to actually remove that coating from the heated uh, metallic metal surface. Uh, I think it's aluminium that they use, I could be wrong. The way to do that is you need to heat up your bed to about 60 degrees. You should then be able to put your scraper uh, in the corner, in the edge and pry it off and slowly but steadily you'll be able to lift the coating off uh, until you're left with um, a metal surface, metallic surface, uh, maybe with a bit of residue on there. And you can use something like, um, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that, isopropyl alcohol, um, some sort of um, alcohol, you spray it on your build surface um, and then wipe it down with cloth or with uh, microfiber cloth or even kitchen towel. And that will give you a nice clean surface on which you can mount your glass bed. Now, some people will be saying, well, what's the point of doing that when I can just put my glass bed on there? I'm not gonna be doing adjustments afterwards. I just want it on there. Well, yeah, you can do that. But if tomorrow you want to take out your glass bed, maybe you've got an object that's stuck to the surface and you, you've tried everything to remove it. And now you need to um, have some more leverage over it. The only way you will be able to pry it off is by heating the bed up and going through the process that I've just explained of lifting the bed up and then removing the coating. Because after a few prints, this glass bed sticks onto that uh, coating that's there and it becomes extremely difficult to remove it. So why not do it right first time round? Another thing is some people seem to be having this problem of sticking their prints onto glass beds. And I've not really understood this because, you know, it seems quite, quite simple and straightforward. You know, I, I was initially facing that problem, but I did two things. One was I changed the initial layer height of my prints to something uh, a little bit larger so that it puts down more filament. The second thing I did was, again, I used alcohol to clean the bed surface, made sure there's no fingerprints or anything like that. And then uh, it just sticks perfectly. So before you go ahead and start uh, putting down hairspray, ordering fancy tropical glues, uh, putting painter's tape and all these other suggestions that people put online, just try cleaning the bed with um, an alcohol-based um, liquid, uh, give it a nice wipe down and then go straight to your print. And I guarantee you it will be almost perfect. In fact, so perfect that the objects get stuck to your bed. Uh, which is a, another reason why I've put the smooth side up and I've left the textured side uh, at the bottom. So I hope that helps you with your printing um, and do put any questions that you might have below.